Hello and welcome back to our Very Ag Hordes campaign. We are outside the walls of Keras Nan, sending the siege towers forward. We are throwing our horde units into the breach here. I suspect they will disappear after this battle, assuming we take the city. Uh, so we're just throwing them in. We want to preserve as much of our non-horde units as possible, since those will be the ones that remain. We're sending these guys around primarily to capture the towers, but also to get a few shots in on uh, these units. We are going to hopefully uh, hit some of these Swords of Harad, uh, take out them. Let's see if we can bring this a little bit closer here. And on the other side, we've got uh, sort of our, our real siege tower, which is just capturing this safe point. Going to grab these towers um, and then hopefully get the gate. I don't have the best men here, so we haven't taken and haven't done any damage to this uh, to this unit of Swords of Harad. Unfortunately, we are shooting, uh, but we're taking a lot of losses here, so that's not great. Uh, we certainly were going to take losses no matter what we did. The Swords of Harad, they're going to throw their javelins until they're out of javelins, so I think that was the best we could expect. It looks like they've fired everything they can at this moment. Uh, so this is at least something of a distraction. If we capture the gate quickly enough, then I'm thinking about just sending all of my cavalry in. The family members are the other ones we can afford to use here, because if we can get through the gate, um, even if we take some losses from uh, units shooting down at us, we will be able to replenish these losses if the family member himself survives. So if we can get him in through here, um, I think he'll do well all of these Dragon Guard units against uh, the relatively light units that are inside the city on the ground. The walls themselves are going to be a much bigger challenge, so not quite sure how we're going to deal with that. Uh, the Swords of Harad, I expect to easily win against my Axemen, uh, but again, if we can at least hold them in place long enough to get, get some guys through the gates, um, then I think that will be good got our archers climbing the tower here. We can get this tower. That'll start shooting, uh, hopefully push back the, the skirmishers, although they can do a lot of damage too. But we do have another horde unit, and so it might make sense to send him over here. Now, there is another gate on this side of the city and maybe one thing to do would be to send all my cav around capture the center uh, they've got some corsairs here and here if I take this unit of Variag Axemen and just march over to capture the gate that might be the better move okay looks like they're getting down off the walls I gotta start running over here if I have any, if I want to have any hope of capturing towers here, um, and I might not. If they leave some good units here to hold off my wall troops, uh, then I might not get the gate. Okay, I grabbed this tower, but that's I think just temporary. But notice we are getting some shots in. Let's see what they're gonna do. Okay, let's run over here first. Alright, the Axemen can come over here. Looks like the swords are coming back. I'd like them all to get uh, well away from the gate. Alright, so we just captured that. Let's go back here. Hold up. Captured that. Now we're going to go this way. And the archers have remained. That's nice. We've kept this tower. If they leave, I'll send this unit up the tower. These guys are going to fall very quickly, I'm afraid. So yeah, I think this is the safer move. We'll send the family members out and around, along with all of the cavalry. And maybe while they're kind of distracted here, we'll send the Axemen over. That's a pretty full unit. So 
that these guys can come up this tower and maybe just stay there and shoot. Losing heavily. Winning easily. Okay. Of course, our archers are wavering. So we're going to cut them down, which is very nice. Um, doing almost no damage to the Swords of Harad. Alright, but maybe I'll try to capture the gate here, at least as a distraction. And if I do, I might risk bringing my infantry down. Okay, we got the gateway. Let's bring the Variags down to street level, I think. Got to run the cav in. They're wavering already, which is awesome. We just need to hit them and not spend too much time fighting them with our uh, light cav. We did take the gate. Alright, I'm going to take advantage of that and run my infantry in. Okay, that unit is routing, which is wonderful. Okay, and we can start bringing our cab up to the plaza to threaten uh, the Corsair unit, I think, that's inside. Let's bring the Variag cavalry around. Alright, this is the general unit. They're wavering already. Variag warriors doing very well. And he's routing. Alright, we're not going to catch him. But this is good to get these guys around here. Right, there comes the other skirmisher unit. And we've held on to the gates, but we're, we're not going to lose them yet. Basically, we're sacrificing this unit of archers so that we don't lose the gate. We just lost the gates. Okay. <laughs> Got to run, run in so we don't get shot up. I would have thought we would have held ownership of that until we got pushed away. Okay, these guys are on skirmish, and we don't want that. Let's run them all up here. Plainsman mounted skirmishers. This is their second unit of cav. Again, we're breaking them easily, but it is going to take a bit more. Where'd those Corsairs go? We just route them already. Let's take out the general. I'm surprised how well we're doing on the wall here. Um, okay, this is a horde unit. You know, I may as well put them, like, back here so they can continue to shoot. Okay, footmen are broken. Very good. They're going to get back, but honestly... Not a problem. Alright, and now it becomes a game of holding the center for a couple of minutes, which I think we can do. Uh, these guys are going to route back into it, but they're going to keep leaving. We must have killed all the Corsairs while I wasn't looking somehow. There was a second unit, but I don't know where they went. Alright, we got the gateway back. And we just need to hold out here, so uh, let's let's get set up. Uh, just in case a unit decides to come off the walls. Or from somewhere else that I've not noticed. We actually 
actually. We want to fight them outside of the city center, because this is where they're going to route to. As long as we've got a unit inside, we, uh... And they don't have any, then we are considered to own it. Alright. Let's go ahead and speed up the counter. Surprised how well our step archers are doing. We're down to 11 men here. So the Swords of Farad are going to ultimately win this fight, I would say. So are the footmen, although they're wavering. Yeah, so they got us. Uh, they're going to get the gate back, and here we go. We're going we're gonna to call it a win. We captured the flag. That's good enough for me. So Karis Nan is now ours, and we are able to uh, exterminate the population, destroy a bunch of buildings, get a bunch of money out of it, and see what we can do with it. All right, lay desolate. Um, this is going to kill or cast out only 1,100. That tells me the population here is pretty low. And I think because of that, I'm tempted to either occupy or expel. Expel is going to kick population to settlements where I have a governor, which is actually all three of them right now. Uh, Athendad has a family member in it. Umbar City has a governor, and so does Ann Umbar. So that would spread out six, 760 men or people between all of those three places. Um, that might be the best option, just in case, um, just in case the public order is bad here, without draining it as much as this would. Um, the reason I'm a little worried about public order is this is at a yellow face already, and this is basically a full stack. Uh, so let's go ahead and expel. We're going to get less money, but I think it might be better in the long run, uh, basically enslaving them. Now, in terms of stuff that's destroyed, um, let's see, do I really need these things? We're going to definitely put the taxes down to low, train a scout, and we will need to build our own uh, dominion buildings, which will take us a little while. Let's see, who do we have for a good governor here? Ah, Fand. Or this guy. Uh, he is mature, so he's the youngest here. Uh, might be good to give him the governorship, just because he's going to be, be around longer. So let's do that. Let's see what we can get away with in terms of uh, keeping people here. I want to take out the horde units. And uh, notice what we lost. We did lose a few, but not all of them. We lost our Variag warriors, uh, the horde unit there. And so that's uh, that's sad. And we also, we kept our archers, and we kept some of our axemen. Uh, so honestly, I'm surprised we still have any horde units. It's um, a little surprising, but I'm not going to complain. We still have some, so we'll try to make the most use out of them. So yeah, what we're going to do here is put this on local governance. We're going to put it down to a growth policy and untick these boxes so I can decide what to build. Go ahead and start provincial pacification. We're still at 73,000 Mirian, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Oh, this... Does this have... Hold on a sec. Ivory root. Okay, so this does not have ivory, but this is on the ivory root. Interesting. I guess I just hadn't noticed that before. So this makes this a very nice trading province uh, to have. It's right on the road... Um, from from the inland provinces where we can actually train Mumikil, uh over further afield. There's no there's no ivory around here. Okay, so we're we're on the ivory route though. So we're like the the sort of end point for that. I wonder if Habad is similarly on the ivory route, but maybe maybe not. Okay, so what units can we get out of here? Uh, well, we want to leave the nomadic watchmen. Probably they're not going to do us much good in a fight. Let's see if we can get away with taking all these guys out, and we can. So that's very good news indeed. All right, not looking too bad in terms of uh, in terms of income. So it's just a question of what we want to destroy, if anything. Um, I was kind of hoping we would get more out of this, uh, like military buildings or dominion buildings. But when we sacked it, maybe we completely destroyed all those things. Uh, let's see, court of arches. Happiness here is pretty good already. And this is costing us uh, a bit of upkeep, so let's let's just see what happens when we do this. Okay, we're not making any land tax now, 
But when we do, when we get our dominion built, this is going to be a dent in our land tax. So I'll make a thousand off of getting rid of that. It's not going to hurt our public order very much. And this is also going to give us public order, which I don't feel we need here. It's so close to our capital. Um, and it's going to cost us a bit in upkeep. So we'll destroy this. We don't need these fancy buildings. We'll keep the road camp, though, because it's going to help us with trade income. And uh, we will keep the herbalist, as that will help us with uh, public health and therefore growth, even though that does have a bit of upkeep. Uh, but the grand market here already built is very nice. We got stone walls, so I'm feeling quite secure about this position on the map. Now we may want to mix these guys. Um, and you know, it may be time to start training stuff, although I can retrain. Why can I do that? Probably because of hmm. Mines? Animal fights? Nope, that's not giving any experience. Why would I be able to retrain this unit? It's only going to cost one Mirian. I'm, I'm curious. Let's see what's going to happen to that. Uh, okay, so do we want a watchtower here? I feel like that's not really necessary. So we'll just keep this army kind of out in the field for now. We can ret recruit mercenaries. Actually, that's a good reason to stand here. In case we need them, these excellent swording skirmishers. Very low upkeep. Uh, they frighten nearby enemy infantry. They're effective against armor, good against riders. So this is a great uh, mercenary unit for us to pick up. And you know what? Since we're kind of low on troops in this army, I'm going to grab them now. Uh, that'll allow the mercenary pool in the area time to refresh, and we can get some more later. The Southron Spears, though, I'm not too keen on. Uh, 80 men per unit, fairly high upkeep though for what they give, uh, 220 million a turn. So I'm only going to retrain, uh, recruit these guys if I really feel like I'm short men and I can afford it. Uh, so as we continue to build here, that may be an option. All right, let's keep going east. All right, there's Anorlith. This is another settlement that uh, Far Harad begins with. But Harad took it. And I can move up here, and I can see that Far Harad actually conquered up into Lost Laden, which is interesting. So we'll get eyes on that settlement in a little while. Alright, it looks like... Yep, Harad is moving into the area, but Far Harad is doing pretty well for themselves. They have a pretty decent stack there, and they're training Partreb tribesmen, which are an amazing unit, um, and can only be trained here. So, good for them. Now, when Harad starts to get into Kandian territory, my territory, uh, they tend to start suffering public order problems. Uh, so, I'm wondering where their capital is. It's Ur. Okay, so maybe that is close enough to the area to be helping them out. We'll take a little tour back through my old stomping grounds and see what it looks like. Oh, Rohan and the elves are at war, and that means that Rohan and the United Kingdom are no longer allies, so the, uh, the Dominion of Men, this is the announcement that you get uh, when something like that has happened. Either Dale has gone to war with the dwarves, the reunited kingdom is fighting with the elves, or someone has attacked the Shire. Something like that has happened. And so the old alliances are no longer holding. Very interesting. And uh, that could be really good for us, actually. Or good for whoever is fighting the reunited kingdom. Because Rohan may end up uh, in a lot of trouble, or reunited kingdom may end up in a lot of trouble. I have no idea how things are going in the northwest part of the map. Uh, but it would be really interesting to see. Okay, so Harad has been pretty slow to uh, to take this settlement. You know what? I am going to just scare them away, and they're going to stick and fight. Okay. We may have time for one more little battle here. If I can keep it, I'd rather have the rebels uh, just hanging out to the north of me. Harad will keep sending tiny armies over there. Uh, I'll keep kicking them off. And we're sort of uh, protecting this little independent enclave because I'd rather not have Harad besieging me in my own territory. Right, 
seems like a pretty good deployment actually. We've got all of our uh, hitting cav right there. We'll keep them in a single group. And our horse archers up here. We don't have any horde units left apart from these two. So it's time to think of this as just this is my army now and these are the troops that I need to hold on to. So we need to really start being careful about them. I should have, as the first step of this, should have looked more closely at what they had. But we can lead with the archers at any rate. They're a horde unit. Um, and they will go away at some point anyway. And let's put that in a group. And the horse archers, I like to send the horse archers around uh, sort of on the left, my left side if possible. Okay, so of course they're over there. Very good. Very, very good. <laughs> of course. Well, maybe we can get some shots in on their backs. I mean, honestly, this is fine because it just means they're going to be leaving. We just killed a bunch of their Swords of Harad. Um, 19. But they're going to be withdrawing from the settlement back to their home territory and we'll skedaddle out of here and they're going to have to send an, arm, uh, an army back in to take it if they want. So this is going to be just the way we play it for a while until we feel strong enough to take the fight to Harad. Um, of course, now I'm in the zone of control of the city, but that's okay. I don't really want the city now. I'd rather have Harad um, focused on it. Okay, Umbar City is looking a bit threatened at the moment, so you know what? We're going to train a single unit here. And uh, I think we'll call it an episode, folks. So thank you very much for joining me with this one. I hope you'll check me out on the next one, and until then, take care, everybody.